So what did you do to, uh, to work through this dilemma? Yeah, so I went and learned so much about mindset work and mindfulness and i kind of discovered what i now call my four e's or my four pillars of joy well we want you to take us through those so so let's start with the first one which is embrace yeah so embrace is the first pillar and embrace is all about really accepting and acknowledging and embracing what is going on in your life the good the bad and the ugly. You know, when things get difficult, our natural tendency is to run away from it or ignore it, maybe shove it under the rug. But embrace really asks us to face what's happening and to feel the feelings. And when things get really difficult, the way to turn this around is through gratitude. Study after study shows that gratitude has so many health benefits. But here are my tips for gratitude. One, be really intentional about it, right? Have a consistent gratitude practice. Two, you have to acknowledge it. So write it down or say it out loud. And the third one is be specific. So instead of saying, I'm grateful for my family, say I'm grateful for the delicious meal we had last night. All right, the second pillar of joy you talk about is enjoy, tell us. Yeah, so this is my favorite pillar, which is all about celebrating your day-to-day -day wins. And the key word is day-to-day. -day. We're great at celebrating really big moments, but when it comes to those little moments, we're not so good. And studies show that people who can actually do this celebrate the small wins, they're more positive, they're more confident, and have better life satisfaction. So a celebration can look like literally patting yourself on the back, giving yourself a hug, or my personal favorite, which is having a dance party for one. <laughs> that works. Why not? Okay, on to the third pillar of joy, which is engage. Tell us about that. Engage is about connecting with our communities. Right now, we are so disconnected from one another. And engage is really about connecting with the people around you. Now, whether that's family and friends, but it can also be coworkers or your grocery clerk. One of my favorite things to do is to combine these pillars together. So I'll send a text to a friend out of the blue and let them know how grateful I am for them. And this not only increases their joy, but your joy, right? Like when you give a gift to someone and you just get so excited thinking about how they're gonna feel and it's totally free. I love it. And the final pillar of joy is ease. Tell yeah, us about so that. Ease is really all about day-to-day, -day, daily moments of rest and pause. Again, we're great at big moments, like we'll take a week off for a vacation or we'll take the whole weekend off, but really we need small moments of rest every day and short moments are great. Five to 10 minutes of mindful breathing or going for a walk. There was a recent study of 2000 Americans and they found that people who took naps under 30 minutes were more positive and productive than people who didn't take naps and also people who took longer naps. So the beauty really is in the brevity. You want to get us kickstarted here. You want us to practice one pillar right now. So I'm, I'm game. What is it? Well, I would love to practice ease with you. And if you have a coffee mug near you or a drink just, near you. I most certainly do. <laughs> I thought you would. So this is a great way to just get your mind free from those thoughts and tap into small moments. So really becoming aware of the texture and feel of the mug. And then before you take a sip, really smelling that mug of tea or coffee, savoring that smell. And then when you take a sip, really tasting the coffee and savoring that. And in this way, we can really just connect to the present moment and find our ease. And it's super easy and we can increase our positivity. It's just being really in tuned with what you're doing and your environment. If it's a cup of coffee, savor it, as you said. Exactly. Feel it, smell it, cheers, taste it. Cheers. I feel better already. Sharin, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you really have brought us joy. Thank you for having me.